Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new episode of each and every fact in Adobe Premiere Pro. And today we're going to learn how you can use high pass filter in Adobe Premiere Pro and why should you use that filter? What will be the real life implementation, right? So here I have prepared a clip and if I just play it back. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. I have played one heart sound. You can hear the audio is fine, but there is a rumbling noise in the background right very very low pitch sound just like humming sound so if i just play it back hey guys this is let's eliminate this using a effect called high pass filter if i go to effects panel and there if i go to audio effects then filter and eq here you will see high pass filter this one so if i just click and drag this filter i can apply this filter so what is a high pass filter it is basically allowing higher frequency to pass through and it is cutting the lower frequency it is also known as low cut filter so here if i go to effects control panel you can see high pass filter there is a cut off frequency which is the threshold so you have to set a threshold here by default the threshold is 1495 hertz so if i play it back it will eliminate all the frequency below 1495 hertz and it will allow all the frequency above this frequency right if i play it back hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere you can hear the humming sound is gone but also my voice over is sounding very very thin so let's correct this how you can do that you can change the cut off frequency so our voice frequency is mainly consists of uh, frequency from 100 hertz to 6000 8000 hertz right so let's decrease it a little bit i can set it to 200 hertz now if i play it back hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial i have played one hertz sound here on my computer yeah you can hear the sound is sounding great and also the having sound is gone you can also adjust it a little bit because whenever i have recorded the sound i have played a 100 hertz background sound so that i can demonstrate you so uh, we have a little bit headroom we can maybe make it 180 hertz so that we can recover a little bit lower frequency of my voice hey guys this is james and welcome to a new adobe premiere pro tutorial it is perfect to me because whenever you are uploading a video or publishing a video with this humming sound Hey it, it will sound awful so make sure when you are uploading a video or audio on online uh, the audio is correct so that is the basic how you can use the high pass filter also you can use this filter to make your voice still like if you want to make your voice sound like telephonic then you can increase it a little bit more maybe 2000 so if i played back yeah perfect it is sounding like the voice is coming from a old telephone right so you can use this filter to make your voice thin or you can use this filter to eliminate the lower frequency of your voice or audio whatever it is so that's it i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye